Hi, this is on plant transport, transpiration. What is transpiration? How does it work? Transpiration can be defined as the loss of water vapor through aerial parts of a plant, particularly through the stomata of leaves. So this is actually the uh, more accurate description of it. Most people assume, however, a shorter, simplified version of it. Loss of water vapor through the stomata of leaves. Okay, why is transpiration important? It allows water to move from the roots up to the stem to the leaves. It helps to transport mineral ions. It helps to move water. It also helps that uh, when the water evaporates from the leaf, it takes some heat away with it. We call that latent heat of vaporization that helps cool the plant down. It's just like in our bodies as humans, when we sweat and the sweat evaporates from our skin, it takes away some of the heat helping to cool us down. So that's how plants do it. Okay, now let's study how the mechanism works. Although this will be a simplified version, there are actually a few different forces that help transpiration occur. There's transpiration pool, which is the strongest one. There's capillary action, which we will not talk about. There's also root pressure, which we will also not talk about in detail. Right, so let's talk about transpiration pool only. Transpiration pool, we're going to start by looking at the leaf. The process is like a chain of events that begins with the leaf. So looking in this picture, let's zoom in. We'll take a cross section and look at the leaf itself and we're going to zoom in some more and we're going to see what it looks like in the leaf structure. So this is a diagram or a pair of diagrams that shows uh, how the cells are arranged and the processes that may take place. We're going to start with osmosis from the xylem to the surrounding mesophyll cells. So these are mesophyll cells up here and here. So this whole section over here, mesophyll cells. Mesophyll cells are leaf cells, coming from the word meso, middle, and feel, something to do with leaves. Mesophyll cells absorb water from the xylem by osmosis. So the water will first move out like that. Then the water is now in the mesophyll cells, as well as on the surface of the mesophyll cells. On the surface of the mesophyll cells, you can see there is a wet surface, there's a layer of moisture over here. This layer of moisture is pretty much like a piece of wet cloth or something. The water molecules from this surface can evaporate to the air space. As you can see from the structure over here, there's a lot of air space in a leaf normally. And this is where all the water vapor will be trapped, but not for long. During the day, the stomata open. So down here, we have a hole. The hole is called a stoma. Stomata are like windows. When they are open during the day, gases can move in and out of the leaf. This is how the leaf gets oxygen or carbon dioxide. This is also where carbon, sorry, this is also where water vapor escapes from the leaf. Water moves out from the leaf over here. So, to recap, we have osmosis, first moving water out of the xylem into the mesophyll cells. Then, we have evaporation. Evaporation of water from the surface of the mesophyll cells. The water vapor will be now in the airspace. And then we have diffusion. The water vapor that is inside the leaf will be at a higher concentration than outside the leaf. So water vapor will move out of the leaf by diffusion, not osmosis. So there are actually three different processes occurring here. Osmosis, evaporation, and diffusion. Okay, so in summary, 
Transpiration is important for plant. Transpiration is caused by three different forces, out of which transpiration pool is the strongest. Summary of how the process works. As water vapor is lost through the stomata, more water is pulled out of the xylem by osmosis. This pulls the water column up the stem all the way from the roots and this helps the roots absorb more water. Let's uh, start uh, transpiration continuation. So to summarize once more, transpiration is the loss of water vapor through the aerial parts of the leaves creating a suction force that pulls the water from the roots up the stem into the leaves. And this force is called transpiration pool. It's the major reason why transpiration occurs. If the rate of transpiration is too high, however, if it is higher than the rate of water uptake, then the plant may be at risk of losing too much water. The cells may start to dry up. The plant may start to wilt, we say. The wilting process occurs due to the cells losing their turgidity. And this is not good. However, there is a upside to it. When the cells lose their turgidity and the plant begins to wilt, the stomata of the leaves will close and this may prevent or at least limit the amount of water lost. It may prevent further loss of water vapor by transpiration.